In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix a broken rudder line. How do you know you have a broken rudder line? Your rudder control does this. Let's go. You're having a great time out there fishing on the water. It's a beautiful day. You're casting, you're, you're catching fish. And then this happens. All right, so first we're gonna remove these bungees so the back is clear and we can open this hatch. We're just popping the hook here on both sides. We can leave that there, it's just gonna be out of the way. All right, we're gonna need a Phillips set screwdriver so we can take off the back plate that covers the drum where the rudder is attached to where it makes it spin. There's our screws. Okay. That's the guy that broke right there. See? So the other end is here on this pulley, and here's the where, it, where it got wore out. See that? Oh, well, you might have noticed these two sets of screws here. These two and these two. They hold the pulley in place. That's part of the steering mechanism. Basically, the strings that come across, and they come this way and they go through the pulley and they come over to this guy and they go onto the drum for to turn this drum and actually turn the rudder. I'm going to feed the new line from this side going in there. I'm going to pull it over to the to where the to where the pulley should be, but instead of trying to fiddle with it and risk putting the line in the wrong way, I'm going to unscrew those two screws, pull the pulley over to the side so I can see what it's doing and then I'm gonna run the line through before I tighten it down. So let's do that ne next. Take out this pulley in the same orientation it's in now so I can keep all the lines going through it like original so I can see what they're doing. Because this is my first time replacing a line on this Pro Angler, so let's bring it out. Okay. So there it is. So this is the cut line is coming from. Oh, I see. This pulley's this pulley's doing like double duty. There we go. That's what it looks like. That's the pulley. Okay. Um, it's got the other line going through it too. I think it does like some cross thing so that you can turn the rudder that way and the boat goes that way. It's not backwards like a sailboat. The, the line coming out of the back of that uh, pulley goes to the front of this one and around, goes to the back of this one and around and over back to the, to the drum. So we're gonna take this line and replace it. But we're trying to figure out how far to replace it. So, let's see. Oh yeah, got it. So we're actually gonna replace it like pretty close to the to here. Yeah, I'm going to use a uh, spear gun line uh, spectra. It's like uh, it's super strong and it's waxy. So I'm hoping the waxiness helps it last longer through these little guides. A little bit thicker than what came on the Hobie, but it should be fine. I'm, just gonna re I'm, not, re I'm not going to replace the whole line all the way to the rudder control. I'm, gonna, I'm only going to replace the segment here that got, that got ruined. And I'm actually going to tie a knot over here. I'll show you that in a second. So. I'm going to feed it through from this side, that way it's easier to deal with. And I'm basically going to follow the path of the cable, of the line that broke. I got the line, and now we're going to match it through the pulley before we pull the old line that broke, so we can follow the same line basically. So here's the pulley. It sits against the top of the kayak right there, hold, held on by the two screws. And then this line comes under and out of this hole and onto the drum, okay? So we're replacing this line with this orange line, but we want to do it the same way so it doesn't break anything while we're doing it, okay? Ignore this other line. This is just the opposite side of the steering. That line is fine. It's just part of the way it's set up so that when you turn your rudder handle to the left, your rudder actually turns to the left. So it's, it's, uh, 
it's counter steering. Uh, if you're on a sailboat with a normal rudder, it's it's uh, if you want to go left, you steer right. If you want to go right, you steer left. But on a Hobie, if you steer right, you go right. If you steer left, you go left. So that's kind of a, this is how it, that's being done with different pulleys. Okay. It's coming out of the it's coming out of the feeder up here. It's going in this way, and it's coming back out this way. And so that line takes over for this line. So we can take this line out. And since this is a line that goes to the actual rudder handle, let's see, this goes back there. Yep. And then we're going to give it, and we need to tie this guy here. So we pull the slack, I'm going to leave it up here right, right where the hatch is. I'm going to give it this much slack. So I'm going to cut it like right here. Pinch it. And then you want this one to be, these to be inside. So you want to, so you go from the, you start from the inside. You go out and around the back and then back into the loop. And you end up with this pretty super basic knot. But then you cinch it down, and that's all you should need, okay? Leave, an extra, leave a little bit of extra long tag here. I'm just gonna tie a knot, overhand knot here, so it doesn't slip. Let's just pull on this if it helps. Yeah, okay, there we go. So we're back in business. I'm gonna cut the extra off of this spectra. I'll leave about a quarter inch on there. Okay, and I'm actually gonna burn this end just because I like burning spectra ends. I like how Spectra kind of bunches up like that when you burn it, kind of mushrooms out. Gives you a little bit extra. This kind of does too. There it goes. That way it kind of gives you a little bit extra security that it won't slip through. If it hits, if it hits a burn mark, it will definitely stop slipping. Okay. So that's what the new line looks like. It's nice and waxy. There it is. There it is. This way. This way. This way. This way. Yep. This way. That was upside down. Okay. So now we're gonna put it back on the back in the where it belongs, and then we'll deal with the rest of the fix in a second. There. Uh, I didn't notice this earlier, but there is definitely a longer screw and a shorter screw. Um, I'm gonna let you guess. I think the shorter screw goes to here. Longer screw goes to here because the nut is further away, since it has to be accommodated for the space of the pulley. So that's pretty, pretty, pretty uh, intuitive. So here we go. Let's start with the little guy up here. Lines up. Okay, I'm just gonna hand tighten this for now. Okay, see the other one lining up there too. You can just push it through for part of it because the thread is not doesn't start until the bottom. The thread on the screw doesn't start until you pass the pulley, so you, you don't have to screw the whole way down. You can push it through until you get to the nut. Okay, Let's this guy down. When we're working on this thing, we gotta make sure the rudder's down. So let's see how much line is in here. I'm gonna undo this knot. Okay. Twist through it, so let's pull this out. Okay, like two twists, like a twist and a half in there. So that's the segment we're replacing. Right there. Okay, so I lined up the handle. I lined up the rudder handle so that's straight and how much slack I'm going to have on this line. Now I'm going to line up the 
the drum here. Make sure the rudder is straight. Pretty straight. And now I'm gonna feed this through the drum and onto that screw. I'm gonna feed it up to this hole so we can put on that screw post. There it is. Make sure this goes into the groove back here of the drum. Okay, here's where, here's where keeping it centered really matters. Now I'm gonna basically bring it over and wrap around the screw a couple times. One, two, Okay. Okay, so the other thing that I that they do is from the factory is they put a little bow here. And that's in case these come loose. It doesn't just go into the hull. You could find it and fix it quickly without having to take the whole thing apart. So let's do a quick little bow. There you go. All right, there it is. That's the repair. Now let's put this plate back on here. So here is the plate. All right, so there it is. I'm just gonna tighten these guys down. It's a uh, pretty easy repair to do. You could probably do this on, on the. You could probably do this um, if you had the materials. You could probably do this on the beach and get back in action. If this happens to you on the water, if you have at least half a paddle, I always take at least half a paddle. I do this with the little T connector. I always have one paddle with me. And uh, your drive still works. So basically your outer rudder, but if you lower your skeg, the, that's the middle one, that'll keep you straight. Kind of like uh, those outrigger canoe guys. That the, the guy, the guy at the very end, he'll paddle and then he'll stick his stick his uh, um, paddle in the water to steer the whole boat. That's what you can be doing. You can just pedal with your drive, put the skeg down so you're straight for the most part, and then steer with the with your paddle. Okay, that'll get you back to shore, and then you can do this repair. It's not difficult. Um, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. And I was totally not planning on doing this video, but this happened to me uh, last Sunday. Uh, I just, I was on the water and it broke. So kind of, there's nothing else I could do. And I do want to go fish in the next couple of days. So I, I figured I'd make a quick video about this, get this repaired. If you enjoyed it, if you think uh, it was helpful, please give this video a thumbs up. And uh, if you have any other repairs you want to do uh, or that you have questions about, let me know. This is actually the first thing that's gone wrong with my kayak i got this kayak in 2018 and it's been two years and the thing is rock solid it's awesome i could totally understand that breaking it's just a wear and tear it's a, a thin piece of line um it looks like it's pretty robust line but just over the over the uh the years you know it, it just wears out it's normal um the one thing that i did notice because even after it broke i kept fishing for a little bit longer is that I adjust my rudder very often and that's probably a bad habit. Um, even when I'm not moving, I'll, I'll center it, right? If I'm drifting, I'll, I'll turn it before I start moving. And so I think I'm adding a lot of wear to it that I shouldn't be adding. All right, so let's close her up. Fun little boat. If you enjoy this kind of like how-to video, uh, make sure you check out this next video because I'm going to show you how I replace my stock rudder with this upgraded rudder. It's bigger and it should offer me more control. So check out that video next.